How do you multiply big numbers without using a calculator? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, pag-uusapan natin yung uh, paano mag-multiply ng numbers without using a calculator. This is a handy skill, not just for real life, but also for aptitude tests na bawal gumamit ng calculator like the civil service exam. Okay, baka nakalimutan na rin natin kung paano yun ginagawa and I'll show you a bit of yung mga ginagawa ko mismo, mga tricks involving shortcuts uh, dito sa video na ito. But before we do that, just a quick little plug, if you want to help support our channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, you can do that through buying our merch sa shop.teamlaika.com. All you need to do is to visit that website and see yung mga hoodies, shirts, caps, mugs, at iba pang merch na dinesign ko for this team. And sa mga bumili na, marami salamat. Sa mga bibili pa lang, marami salamat din. And if you can't afford to do that right now, that's perfectly fine. Again, this is, this is just us, yung mga may kayang mag-pitch in. Pitching in to make sure that we keep the lights on in this operation at then and we can keep doing what we do, which is to provide free educational content to all of you. Alright? So salam sa inyong lahat. And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my tablet. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, ito yung lecture natin on multiplying numbers. We're going to talk about kung bakit ganun yung ginagawa natin, ano yung idea behind it, and kung paano rin mag-solve ng mga madadaling multiplication equations at hanggang dun sa multiple digit numbers. Okay? Now, let's start with something really easy. Alam natin na ang 3 times 2 ay 6. Now, kung minemorize lang natin ito, baka nakalimutan na rin natin kung ano yung mga tawag sa parts sa kanila. Ang 3 and 2, tinatawag natin silang factors. Yung dalawang number na pinagmumultiply natin, factors ang tawag sa kanila. Yung number 6 naman na sagot, ang tawag dyan ay product. Okay? So, factors and product. Now, paano siya naging 6? To have a better understanding nito, or kung ngayon pa lang kayo nag-aaral ng multiplication, one thing that you could do would be to turn it into a sentence. Let's take the same equation. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Nilagyan ko lang siya ng kulay para mas madali ninyong ma-visualize yung sinasabi ko. Now again, gagawin natin siyang sentence. Yung 3 times 2, it's like saying that there are 3 in one group and there are 2 groups. Okay? Na ulitin ko yun ha, yung unang number na 3, ibig sabihin tatlo ang nasa loob ng isang grupo. At dahil may dalawang grupo, ang magiging kalalabasan ay 6. Now to visualize this, you can look at this illustration. You have a box, okay, na may tatlong laman. Bawat box yan ay group, okay? So 3 in one group looks like this. Pero dalawa yung groups na meron tayo kasi yun ang pangalawang product natin. So, ibig sabihin, kukuha pa ako ng isang kahon na pareho nung nauna, which also has three. So, now you have three and another three or six pag pinagsama-sama sila. Okay? Now, another thing na kailangan natin maintindihan ay yung commutative property ng multiplication. Meron tayong full video on how you can understand it better and remember it better din. Nilink ko na lang sa i button yung mga properties ng addition and multiplication. Pero ang commutative property basically works like this. Kung kanina yung problem natin ay 3 times 2, gagawin natin siyang 2 times 3. Baliktad na yung pwesto ng 2 at 3. Nauuna na yung 2. Pero, ganun pa rin ang sagot. Kasi sa commutative property, kahit pagbaliktarin mo yung pwesto nung ating sa case ng addition addends, and sa case naman ng ating uh, multiplication ay factors, pareho pa rin ang magiging sagot. So, yung 3 times 2 at 2 times 3 ay pareho lang. Now, kung gagawin natin siyang sentence, we can say that there are 2 in a group and there are 3 groups. So, kung i-visualize natin or i-draw natin ito sa isip natin, you have dalawang piraso sa loob ng isang group. Pero this time, you have 3 groups na may laman na tigda dalawa din. So, this is 1, 2, and 3. Now, pag sinama-sama natin yan lahat, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is still 6. The answer is the same. Now, around this time, you would be introduced to the times tables. It looks like this. 
Yung iba may kasama rin na 11 at 12. But the idea lang is, if you have 1 times 1, it would be 1. If you have 6 times 7, pagtatapatin mo lang yan, the answer would be 42. Kinapamemorize din ito, pati yung skip counting na tinatawag, where we recite yung 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on and so forth. Now, meron akong technique na tinuro sa inyo, tinuro rin sa akin o kung ibata, yung finger multiplication. If you want to learn that, para dun sa mga numbers na higit sa 5, you can uh, watch the video sa link na lang sa i-button if you're watching on YouTube or sa description box sa baba. I just thought that para dun sa mga people who are ha having a hard time sa times tables nila. Now, just a quick little uh, introduction. Ako rin, hindi ko memorize yung times tables. But, meron ako natutunan kasi which is, kapag mabilis ka mag-add, you can get away with it. Now, I'm not saying na hindi nyo na kailangan aralin na. I'm just saying na if you're having a hard time or masyado na tayong sabihin natin advanced in age para balikan pa ito, hindi nyo na matandaan, pwede, nyo mag -add, pwede kayong mag-add na lang ng mabilis. Now, let's start with something like this. Paano kung two-digit number na siya? Hindi ko magagamit yung times tables kasi hanggang 10 lang siya. Now, what do we need to do? Now, the first thing you need to do is to look at yung mga nasa dulong digit. So, you have 2 times 6. Ito munang dalawang ito. Okay? Now, yung 2 times 6, yan ay 12. Dahil yung 12 ay 2-digit number, kukunin muna natin yung nasa 1s, so nasa right side, at yun ang ilalagay natin sa ilalim. 2. Tapos, much like kapag nag add tayo ng mga numbers na lumalagpas sa 10, ilalagay natin yung 10s digit dun sa susunod na number. Okay? Doon naman sa tens place. So, yung 1 na yan, ilalagay natin dito. Okay? Next thing that we're going to do is to multiply yung tens digit by the ones digit dito sa ilalim. So, 1 times 6 is 6. Pero, dahil meron na akong 1 dun sa taas, idaragdag ko siya dun sa 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So, 7 yung ilalagay ko dito sa ilalim. 12 times 6 is 72. Okay? Now, paano kung ganito? You have 12 times 26. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start thinking about 6 first. So, again, ha? Huwag nyo muna isipin yung 2 dun sa 26 or yung 20 dun sa 26. Dun muna tayo sa 6. Dito tayo magsisimula sa 2 times 6. Much like yung ginawa natin kanina. 2 times 6 is going to give us 12 Again, yung itong digit na to, nasa 1, silalagay na natin dito. Tapos, yung 1 naman sa tens digit ay lalagay natin sa taas. Next the thing that we're going to do, 1 times 6. So, 1 times 6 is 6. Tapos, idadagdag natin yung 1 na ito. So, that is going to give us 6 plus 1 or 7. Kapag tapos ka na dun sa parehong digit sa ilalim, what we're going to do is to look at yung tens digit naman niya. So again, look at the number 2. Okay? Now you have what, 2 times 2 muna, which is going to give us 4. This is the part that's really important. Ilalagay mo siya sa ilalim ng 72. However, magmove ka ng isang space. Ibig sabihin nun, hindi ko siya dito ilalagay. Ilalagay ko siya sa ilalim ng 7. So 2 times 2 is 4. Again, ha? Diyan siya nakalagay. Next, we're going to look at 1 times 2, which is going to give us 2. Tapos, dahil wala ng ibang digit naman dito, ia-add lang natin yung dalawang number na ito. You, you now have this plus this. Tapos, you go from right to left. So, 2. Bababa lang natin. 7 plus 4 is 11. So, this is 1. Nalagay natin sa taas yung 10. No? Ire-regroup natin siya. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, the answer is 312. Okay? Now, I do have a technique when it comes to multiplying two-digit numbers. If you haven't seen that yet, ililink ko lang din sa i button sa taas. But the idea goes like this. I'll show you then. Now, I do have a technique when it comes to this type of number. Kung two-digit number times two-digit number. O hindi, kahit na mas higit pa doon, merong way to look at this, which is we're going to break it down. Now, dahil may commutative property, yung 26 times 12 ay pareho lang sa 12 times 26. 
So, kung meron akong 26 times 12, what I can do would be, paghihiwalayin ko yung 12 sa 10 and 2. Bakit? Kasi 10 plus 2 is still 12. Tapos, multiply ko lang siya sa 26 pareho. So, now I have 26 times 10 and 26 times 2. Now, why is this helpful? Kasi kapag nag-mental math tayo, lalo na sa exams na hindi pa rin gumamit ng calculator, pwede mong maisip agad na ang 26 times 10, lalagyan mo lang siya ng 0 sa dulo, 260. 26 times 2, any number naman times 2, madali lang din. This is 52. Tapos, i-add ko na lang sila. And if you notice, this is still 312. Okay? So again, that's another way of looking at it. Pero kung sanay kayo dito, pwede rin naman. Okay? Walang pilitan. Now, itataas natin yung difficulty a little bit by using three-digit number, tapos i-multiply natin siya sa two-digit number. 512 times 26. Simulan natin uli sa dulo. So, you have 6. Ito muna titinan natin. 2 times 6 is 12. Carry dyan, or i -re group natin. 1 times 6 is 6 plus 1, which is 7. Careful kayo dyan, baka malimutan ninyo yung mga ganyan, ha? Tapos next, we have 5 times 6, which is going to give us 30. Wala naman ang ibang katabi, so susulat ko lang yung 30. Tapos, dahil tapos na ako dun sa 1's digit, lilipat na tayo doon sa 10's digit niya. Tingnan muna natin yung 2. Okay? So now, you have 2 times 2, which is going to give us 4, na ilalagay natin sa ilalim ng 7. 1 times 2, which is going to give us 2, lalagay natin sa ilalim ng 0. And 5 times 2, which is going to give us 10, lalagay naman natin dito, kasi wala na siyang katabi. Tapos, again, i-add lang natin sila lahat. We have 2, 7 plus 4, which is 11. Tapos, 1 plus 0 plus 2, which is 3. 3 and 1. So, the answer is 13,312. Okay? So, again, it's all about attention to detail, taking things one step at a time, and of course, makatulong kung memorize natin yung times tables natin. Okay? Now, the best way para malaman natin kung alam nila ninyo yung concept natin would be through a quick quiz. We have three questions here. I'm going to give you time. If you have your pen and paper, your timer starts now. All right, let's see how you did. We're going to start with the most basic one. So, 4 times 7. Now, again, using skip counting or commemorating times tables ninyo, pwede ninyo simulan sa 4. So, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Or, pwede ninyo ninyo simulan sa 7 para mas kaunti yung tatakbuhin natin. 7, 14, 21, 28. Pareho rin naman yung sagot. Okay? Next, now, we have 23 times 5. Again, if we look at 5, unahin natin yung 3 times 5. This is going to give us 15. 5 ang number na nasa dulo ng 15. Ilalagay natin yung tens digit sa taas dito sa left side. 2 times 5 is 10. Plus 1, that is 11. So, the answer is 115. Now, I do have a shortcut when it comes to multiplying numbers by 5. Kung hindi nyo pa yung napapanood, ilink ko rin yun yung, yung video na yun sa i button sa taas. It's a lot of help pagdating sa mga exams na may time limit. Okay? The idea goes like this. I will just divide 23 by 2. Okay? So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Tapos, 3 divided by 2 is still 1. May remainder ka na isa, which will, make, which will make yung last digit natin 5 instead of 0. Again, the answer is still the same. Kung gusto niyo matutunan yun, ililink ko na lang din again yung lesson sa i button sa taas. Okay? Next, we have a three-digit number, 854. Imumultiply natin sa 22. Simulan muna natin sa 2 sa 1's digit sa ilalim. Okay? So, again, focus on the number that, na 2 na yan. 4 times 2 is 8. 
5 times 2 is 10. Kopyahin natin yung 1 digit na 0. Ilalagay natin sa taas yung isa para hindi natin malimutan. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 1. So that is 17. Wala na siyang katabi so isusulat na natin dyan. Next, we're going to look at yung tens digit sa ilalim. So that is another 2. We will go 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times 2 is still 10. So, ganun yung gagawin natin. Ilalagay natin sa taas. And 8 times 2 is 16 plus 1, 17. Next step would be to add everything. Again, dito tayo magsisimula sa pinaka-right. Wala siyang katapat, so 8 na lang. 0 plus 8 is 8. 7 plus 0 is 7. 1 plus 7 is 8. And we have 1 right here. The answer is 18,788. Now, again, using yung technique that I mentioned kanina, pwede natin gawin din yun. 854 times 22 is a lot like times 20 and times 2 na lamang. Sa case na ito, I will start with times 2 kasi dalagyan ko lang ng 0 sa dulo magiging 20 na siya. So, 854, para mas madali ko siya multiply sa dalawa, ang gagawin ko would be 800 times 2 is 1,600. 50 times 2 is another 100. So, that is now 1,700, okay, or 1,700. Tapos, 4 times 2 is 8. So, 854 times 2 is 1,708. Now, para makuha ko yung times 20, all I have to do is to add a 0 sa dulo nitong number na ito. So, 854 times 20 is 17080. Now, if you notice, pareho rin yung number na ito. Sa number na ito, kasi meron lang zero na hindi nakasulat dyan. So, yun yung benefit ng technique na to, kasi diretsong add ka na. Okay? So, again, walang pilitan. Pag in mo to, same din ang lalabas, 18,788. Kung saan yung mas mabilis sa inyo, yun yung gamitin nyo sa test ninyo. Okay? Unless merong teacher na nanghihingi ng solution, in that case, sundin ninyo yung teacher ninyo. Okay? Alright, now, paano kung may decimal? Paano kung fractions ang multiply? Meron na rin tayong videos niyan. So, nakakalink din sila sa i button sa taas. And if you're watching on YouTube, nasa the description box din sa baba. Alright? I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at LikeAmaravilla on Instagram for the new quick quiz questions na pinapost natin sa Instagram stories. And if you want to see the throwback quick quiz questions naman, you can follow at Team Laika on Instagram Check out the Instagram stories account na yon for announcements, quick quizzes, at marami pang iba. If you're on TikTok, you can find me at Team Laika on TikTok for the educational videos, math, English, logic, mga explainer videos, speed math techniques, at iba pa. At uh, kung gusto nyo makilala ko a little bit better, you can watch at Laika Maravilla videos on TikTok. Doon ka may pinapost yung mga day in the life, mga, uh, wala lang, mga things that I like to post. Motivational videos, tips, advice, and other personal stuff. Alright? See you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and then exam din sila. That is what I'm going to do. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more information. Alright? Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon. We have more videos coming up and I would hate for you to miss those. Alam niyo, marami pa tayong kailangan pag-usapan. And as we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja, kain niyan. I'll see you on my next video and bye for now.